Hey guys, Money Mirror Tech back with another tech review. Today we'll be going over Sony ULT headphones. Okay, got this today off of Amazon for a one-day shipment and stuff. They got black, white, and a forest green. These also feature noise cancellation, a 40 mil, a 40 mil um, driver and stuff. It has dual um, dual connection. So, for instance, if you're on your computer and then you're on your phone. And you play some media on your phone or stuff and using your laptop it'll switch over to your phone or switch over to your phone while you're taking a phone call as well as featured type c charging and stuff also features a regular um jack and stuff so it has the jack in there too so if you wanted to plug it up the old-fashioned way with the headphone jack you can and stuff so yeah let's go ahead and get into it um i got the black color right here let's go ahead and unbox real quick So 30 hour playback, multi-point, noise cancellation, 360 audio, work with Apple and Android phones. Okay. And there's the headphones itself. Got a little brochures, code. If you guys want this, there you go. You have it. Warranty and a quick start guide and stuff. Put that to the side. And here it is. Nice little hard box, hard case. I like that. You know. And there it is. Come with a type C to type A cord. There is early cords. And then the headphone itself. Okay, put this stuff back to the side. So here it is, got your headphones, Sony on this side, Sony on this side, got your LT, um, ULT logo on this side, your power button, your different modes, you can change, change you can set these up for different settings. So for instance, if you double click it, you can set up for like Spotify, you click it once, it'll turn off your um, North cancellation, type C, your auxiliary port right here. So you can plug it straight to the auxiliary port to like something in the front. The cushion on around the earbuds are nice and soft. Cushion on top is nice and soft. No allow give, stuff, double turns and stuff. So I'm gonna grab my um grab a phone, set this up, and we're gonna run through the setup process on the headphones. So before getting your headphones set up, you don't have to, but I recommend you go to your Play Store or App Store and download the Sony Samsung um, Sony headphone connection. Okay, it's really easy to do. Go ahead and open it up, get everything set up, push connect and stuff, turn on power. Once done, you walk through the settings, set it up, your email account, address, you have your username, browser, the whole nine. Once you get it set up, you're gonna see this right here, okay? So I'm gonna show you, if you wanna do a tutorial on how to use your headphones, you can, or real quick, we'll do a walkthrough. So right here, it shows my adaptive sound control. So if I'm walking to different different environments, it'll know the difference between switching to my, um, my, uh, switch between my noise cancellation or switch to my ambient noise sounds. So like gym, um, out in the city, wherever it may be, it will adjust your, um, you know, adjust your sound to the area. Okay. Um, right here, you will go to your systems and make sure this is turned on, connected to devices. And here you want to pick devices you want to connect to so you can go back and forth. So for instance, if I want to use my laptop and my S24 Ultra, it was I'll set up for that. And then let's say I'm using my laptop and I'm doing, you know, you know, I'm doing video editing with, with headphones and stuff. And I get a phone call on my S24, then it will automatically switch over to my S24 and allow me to connect to it. 
and you can add other phones that you want to later on or other phones, tablets, etc. down the road. Right here is another way for you to use, a, use your um, play music from. So, but I don't really use it. I use, you know, Spotify or YouTube music. But if you want to use a media controller from here, you can. I don't recommend it, but that's cool. Over here, it shows your your um, sound control. So right now, I have a turn on for noise cancellation and ambient sound or turn it off. So you can turn it off all the way. And, you know, it, it would save a little more power. So... When it says 30 hours on the box, it really means 30 hours if you have the power turned, if you have your additional features off. However, when I use it, I don't think I, I don't think I have never had to charge, charge my headphone from zero to 100 because I always plug it up before, you know, going to the gym, you know, 15, 20 minute drive to the gym and I get enough juice and I pretty much want to turn it on. I push my power button, it give you a percentage and stuff and always says 100%. So I never had that problem where, you know, I had to turn off my noise cancellation or use my ambient sound in the background because I would have enough power to, you know, continue on. Right here, you have your EQs. You can click on it, go throughout all the ones, different different um, settings, so bright, excitement and stuff, et cetera, down the road. Uh, what else here? Boom, boom, boom. If you want to use a 360 audio, um, reality, uh, reality, reality audio. You got to download the second application for that as well. You download it real quick, get it set up so you can be able to get that 360 experience, you know? Let's see. Boom. Let's go to systems. You can set up a voice assistant. So I have mine set up to Google voice. You can use Amazon Alexa voice, or you can use a different, um, systems on your, on your, that's on your phone. Scroll down. You have your touchpad. So on here, you have your touchpad where you can swipe up to turn the volume, turn the volume up, swipe down, turn the value down, swipe right, turn, go back, back, do it multiple times, go back to the next track, etc. If you palm it, it'll allow it'll let the noise come in and stuff. So if you didn't know that, now you do. Okay. Also have it set up where as soon as I get a, a phone call, it will automatically let in ambient noise. Okay. Also here, it shows on here on a button as well. If you haven't seen it yet, on the button right here, it will show, let me see it perfectly, NC and AMB. So noise cancellation and ambient sound. You click it once, it'll turn on noise cancellation. To click it again, it'll turn on ambient sounds and stuff. All right. Also, on the same button, if you double click it twice, it will turn on Spotify. I have set up for that. And then there's another option for a third one, but I don't have it and I don't need it. So I'll just leave it on none. I do have it set up where if I take the headphones off my head completely, it will automatically pop my music. And then as soon as I put it back on, it will resume the music as it was. So no more. You're usually in the background playing by itself, it will automatically pause. And then if you if it pause and you don't put it back in your head for for you know for a, a moment of time, it will automatically turn off. Right here, it have a setup where once I remove it and if, it, if it's not back on my head or worn for a certain time, it will automatically turn off to save power, which is cool to have as well. Let's see updates automatically set for updates. Spotify confirmation is on there as well, etc. Also, side note, the whole purpose of this headphone is to have the most bass out of it. So right here is your ULT button. So what it is, if you go to your sounds, <coughs> excuse me, you go to sound, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, you go to your sounds, you see right here, you have your bass control. So for this to work, I have to put my headphones on real quick. And let's say I'm listening to a music and is you know getting to a good point, but I want to hear it more bass. All I gotta do is click the UT click the US the ULT button once and I'll make this switch to this bar right here. So you see down here below, it says settings enhance for deeper low press range. Okay, if I click it again. It will increase it more 
to give you more of that bass. So it's cool to have, um, you know, on your headphones, you know, for that, that time of need when you need that extra bass and boom, you have it there and stuff. And then when you're done with it, turn it off or use it or come on here and turn it off as well. But the whole purpose of having the ULT button is give you the extra boom, boom for that moment of time and stuff. But overall, not bad headphones. So guys, I appreciate you coming out to my video. Um, the Sony ULT headphones are definitely worth the buy. Um, they're always on sale. Always seen on Amazon for like 179, 150 and stuff. Best Buy always have it on sale as well. So I uh, will leave a link down below for you guys as well. They do have three different colors. Like I said before, they have a black, a white and a forest green and stuff. Um, overall for the bang for the pound for the money definitely good headphones i would recommend them to anybody um if you don't want to spend you know 349 400 dollars on you know the high-end m4s or M m5 and stuff definitely a good way to go and stuff um i always go with the mid-range and i'm always happy with it um i do have m4s around here and stuff they, they are good but you know, I like for me, I'm a bass guy and this here delivers that power and that bass I need in the gym. Um, so overall, good product. Um, I will leave it down below. Go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.